this is Mean Squirrel. This time I'm not killing anything but some bugs and time. On this video I'm doing pyramid plunder and try to get that pharaoh's scepter. Why I'm doing this is because I got asked to loot 1000 golden cells to see if I can get that golden battle. But since you can get that golden tool also from Sarkovi, I decided to open both in each room. So it means I open 500 cells and 500 Sarkovi. The chance to get that golden scepter is 1 to 1000 on both, so it might be that with those 500 I might not get any. But I'm willing to take that risk now. At the beginning my thieving level was 69, so I was able to do only 5 rooms. I had 10 chance to get that teleto in one trip. Later I got my levels up, so I could do 6 rooms, so I had 12 chance to get it. One trip takes... 5 minutes, so all that 500 sarcophi and cest openings takes around 9 hours um, with all that banking and dropping, if all goes well. But honestly it took more time from me because you do stop and talk with people between those runs. You can't run 9 hours without talking to anyone. So yeah, it took more time. When you do this for XP, you don't normally open anything else but maybe that middle cest and try to open all urns in the last room. You don't open sarcophis because it doesn't give you thieving experience. It gives you strength experience and it slows you down. But because I'm doing this only for golden tool, not for experience, I open cest and sarcophi and I don't care about anything else. If I had time to open urns in the last room, then I did. I have weapon and armor, but I don't need them that much normally. But when you open that golden chest, you might get attacked by bed bugs. They do some damage and can slow you down when you try to open that sarcophi, so it is sometimes better that you put them down fast. This is why I have my weapon. And when you open that sarcophi, you might wake up Pharaoh's girlfriend. She can hit you, but I think her nagging harms more than hits, so we just do the same as Pharaoh did. He thought that the paper bag was not enough, so he decided to wrap her up and ditch the bitch in the coffin. So I'm doing the same thing, just checking that Sarkovi if she is sleeping on Pharaoh's scepter, ignore her and go to next room where I'm safe from her nagging. Also what is very important is to have space in your inventory because if you get a scepter and your inventory is full it drops on the ground and it would suck if you teleport away. So this is why I often loot the chest in the last room before I open those urns to make sure I have enough time and also I have room for it. Now I think it is time to see what all I got with that 1000 openings. So if I don't count all those pack bites and black eye, I got 165 seals and 62 gold packs and my very first capture. I have never got it earlier, so I'm very happy. So even I was scared that I can't get it with that 1000 opening, I was very lucky after all. I got it after 844 opening. Now if I sell it in our forums, I could get around 1.5 mil, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Seals and packs people seem to buy in forums with 1000 to 2000 each. So if I sold them with 1000 and that skepto, I would make total 1.7 mil. Hmm, not bad. You can also sell those seals to Simon who buys packs for 1000 and seals for 750 gold. So if I sold seals and packs to him, I would make 185k. But I'm not going to sell them nor my teletoy because I don't have one and I think it is very nice to have. It helps hell lot when you want to change your spell book. You can teleport straight to that pyramid and you can recharge it with those gold seals. This is why I keep them too. But that's all today. Now I think I head to Falador and check those goblins. And we will see you next video. Bye!